This is the devotion for January the 22nd. My name is Vicar Martin Corns. Devotion comes from Psalm 65, verse 5. Now David, uh, who was the one who wrote this psalm, wrote many psalms, and he often had a special occasion for, for writing them. And I love the psalms of ascent. They go from Psalm 120 to heart, Psalm 134, uh, which were often recited by memory by the Jews as they went to Jerusalem to the temple. And you can see the people walking up to the temple, up the long steps to the temple mound. And as they climbed up the steps, the eyes would gaze up to the top and they would call out, where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. And Psalm 65 says, by awesome deeds you answer us with righteousness. O God of our salvation, the hope of all the ends of the earth and of the farthest seas. We don't know why David wrote this psalm, but it's a psalm written for use in worship. And it's a psalm written out of thankfulness to God for all the good things he has provided for us. And we, of course, remember the greatest salvation of all, which is uh, God sending his son, Jesus. But maybe this psalm was written for a, for a harvest festival, perhaps the Feast of Tabernacles uh, in, in the fall season. Now in England, in churches around September or October time, we have a festival called Harvest Festival, and schools are invited to, to come along and, and decorate the church with, with pictures of what they're thankful to God for, and they bring along a lot of tinned goods to give away. And as a church here at Gloria Day, and I'm sure at St. Matthew as well, we've been making an extra effort to support our local Salvation Army with food and money and Christmas gifts. And of course, this year we've become so much more aware of the needs of those who are struggling with enough to eat. And it's in these times when we're missing so much as well, aren't we? We're missing our friends and our family. Uh, we're missing freedom. We're missing travel. All those missed opportunities this past year. Uh, we're missing people that we weren't able to connect with at Christmas time. And it's when we miss those things that we realize how much we are so thankful for them. Most of all, you know, we can be thankful that most of us have a roof over our head and we have food on the table. And the psalmist talks about the awesome deeds of God who provides us with so many good things. And maybe of those good things that we're blessed with, we can seek God's guidance on what we can give away to bless others. Will you pray with me? Heavenly Father, thank you for providing us with so much. Show us what we can do to share what we have with others. In Jesus' name, amen.